Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 56 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to do some more examples on how to plot points or ordered pairs on a XY coordinate system. So basically I've got the XY coordinate system laid out here just like I showed you guys in the last tutorial. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plot these four points right here. So remember, when we're plotting a point on the xy coordinate system, each point has an x and a y component. So that's why I wrote x and y up here, because the left side of these ordered pairs is going to be our x component. So this whole column right here is the x components of these four points. And the right-hand side of each of these ordered pairs would be the y component of our points. So let's look at our first point. So our first point is the ordered pair 3, 1. So notice 3 is in the x position here. So on our x axis we start at 0, which is the origin, and we go over 3 units in the x direction. So 1, 2, 3 in the x direction. Puts us right here. So that's our x component of this point right here. So we need our y component next. So our y component is 1. So once again we start at the origin and we go up one unit in the y direction this time since it's the y component. So up one unit in the y direction puts us here. And then we just draw our projections off of those two components. And where those projections cross is going to be the point represented by this ordered pair. So this is the point represented by the ordered pair 3, 1. So now let's look at 1, 3. So it's really the same information except for we've switched the x and the y values. So when x is 1, when our x component is 1, we simply go over from the origin 1 unit in the x direction this time. And our y component is y, so we go up 3 units in the y direction. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3 in the y direction. And then we just draw our projections here. And then when, where these two projections cross would be our points represented by the ordered pair 1, 3. So this is the point represented by the ordered pair 1, 3. So let's go ahead and do these two now. So this one right here, we have an x component of negative 5. So starting at the origin and going on the x-axis in the negative direction, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 negative 5 puts us here for our x component and then our y component of this point is 2 that's the y component so we start at the origin once again and then we go up 1 2 units in the y direction on the y axis here and so then we just draw our projections once again and then the other one comes off of here and so where these two cross is going to be the ordered pair negative 5 2 so that's the point represented by the ordered pair negative 5, 2. And let's go ahead and just do this one now. So x, our x component is negative 1 for this point. So on the x-axis we go over negative 1, so that puts us here. And then our y component for this point is negative 3, that's the y component. So we start at the origin, go down 1, 2, 3 units in the negative y direction, negative 3, and that puts us right here. So then we just draw our projections off of those two as well. And where those cross is our point that is represented by the ordered pair negative 1, negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3 is the ordered pair that represents this point. And I guess one other thing I could uh, point out right here, the origin we can also represent by an ordered pair. So the origin is just simply the ordered pair 0, 0. 0 on the x-axis, 0 on the y-axis. That's the origin. So anyway, that was uh, some examples on how to plot points on the xy coordinate system by looking at the values of their ordered pairs. So thanks to you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Uh, have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.